Hello folks and welcome back to the Bengal Empire, soon to be, hopefully, the uh, Mega Indian Empire, the one true giant empire, but uh, until then, we'll have to see how to deal with things, because as amazing as our ruler is, and he really is a pretty amazing ruler, although I've had better, but still, he's pretty decent, we, um, we failed in taking Rajputana. Uh, that was very, very unfortunate because uh, the claimant that we had pressed uh, died from dysentery, so nothing we could do there, really. Also, I realized at the end of the last war I made a mistake of actually putting down my mercenaries. Uh, always stupid. I don't know what's been going on, but anyway, I know there's one war we can fight here. Uh, which would be interesting, and it's a forced vassalization war. We'd lose 2,500 prestige for it, but somehow I feel like I kind of like the idea. I mean, we'd get quite a lot of land from it, to be honest. Let's do it. I'm j I'll just have to hope that if they actually win the war against their vassal here, that it doesn't annul the thing, because it'd be really annoying to go back 2,500 prestige without any gains. Each member of this family must be a paragon of nobility. Fantastic. Ah, the roots of his legend. So basically, I am the paragon of my dynasty. We are a legendary bloodline. The Grand Patriarch. Ah, oh, the Grand Patriarch of Bengal. That is epic. Gains one use of the Liberate Religion cost spell it should be used on any valid target of my choosing. Yes, I must liberate my Hindu brethren. And here we go. Peace, enforce demands, and look at that. Ah, yes. Well, wait, did I actually... So he doesn't... Oh, yeah, he does keep ruling the region, because I forced a vassalization, so why can't I usurp these titles? Who owns it now? Someone in the kingdom, so... I don't understand. I was about to start an invasion, but these guys just keep getting more troops, like event spawn troops, 12,000 all of a sudden? I don't know. Um, we'll look south. So I have a family member in my court with a weak claim on the kingdom of Karnata. Karnata is this kingdom here, and if this... how old are you? Six. Okay. So if you were suddenly to drop dead, uh, you could actually... We could actually press that claim. One of my family members is leading a... Oh no, wait. It's not one of my family members, it's someone else. But someone's leading a revolt against my family member, of course I'll join. Can't promise I'll help though. Ah, the King of Karnata is dead. I could kiss that snake. I could, actually. No, just kidding. I actually absolutely hate snakes in real life. Or hate and hate, you know. I, I respect the fact that they exist in nature and stuff, but uh, my, my nightmares consist of snakes sometimes. Claim Karnata in the name of my cousin. Let's go. Ooh, a duel on the battlefield uh, against a duke. He has quite a lot lower personal combat, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. I win the duel. I show no mercy. Yeah, I like not showing mercy. Let's do that. All right, offer peace. Let's see. Oh yes. Hmm, glory, 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 glory. Look at that. And the best thing is I can usurp this kingdom and basically dis dissolve this and then offer them, hopefully, um, vassalization. Oh, foreign culture, I see. You would say yes, mostly because of my power. That's great. For your willingness to quickly submit to my rule under the circumstances of what's happened here, I will give you the title of King of Tamil Tamilakam. Ah, uh, I gave you 170 gold, and yet you say no. That's unfortunate. I guess uh, the only option is war. 
War it is then. Oh, another duel, let's see. Ooh. Well, I'll show no mercy. Ooh, yeah, let's search for the artifact. I do have incredible skills, so hopefully it will work for once. I've never actually found stuff. I think I've found stuff once, but never very interesting stuff. Five years of plot power problems. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I'm slowly getting better and better. I mean, I guess it's because my martial is just so good that the fact that I I was only like a, a level 2 tactician was kind of stupid. So, like, I've gotten this event before, and now I'm getting it a, a second time. And I'm going to be a brilliant strategist, of course. Oh, status of women. We should totally move that to significant. Oh no, my son and heir has cancer. Then again, he's slow, so maybe I shouldn't be a surprise. After him comes you. You still haven't had children? Hmm, disappointing. Ooh, and I'm also the Acharya, basically the leader of the organization. Although, or the rank, a very high rank at least, I think. Uh, because once this guy dies, I might become uh, the ruler of the society. Although, it looks like uh, someone else is going to take it. Ah, I've captured him in battle. Let's enforce this. And you still like me. Isn't that nice? I'm going to transfer Vassalage to my cousin here. Of course, this is going to be a very strong power base for our family. Not necessarily a very good thing. I wanted to give it to the Paula family, but they also have some holdings up north here, and, uh, well, I don't know. I'd rather have it in the hands of my family. Also, it didn't actually work to transfer, unfortunately. Oh, my grandson is the emperor of Tibet, but it's through my um, third, or, yeah, second daughter... Which makes this problematic. Thing is, if you were to die of cancer, you might inherit? But the thing is, it would probably go to my second son. However, if my f if a d an older daughter has a son, I imagine that probably precedes it. Because if we actually look at my succession laws... Right, it would go to my other son. And then it will go to my daughter. The thing is, this son also doesn't have children. Uh, so there is a fair chance that this would actually come to pass. And I feel like that makes me very a very happy man. Although, of course, then we would border China. And that's another problem in and of itself. Rajputana has begun an invasion of... Uh, Maharashtra. So, this is going to be a mess. I was hoping to invade Maharashtra, but I almost feel like defending them now, because uh, obviously these guys here are a threat to us. Or especially this man, because, well, his marshal almost exceeds mine, and uh, he has a bunch of event spawn troops, which are really, really bothersome. I'm going to do it. It's going to be the deciding war of the subcontinent here. A war to be remembered in history, and maybe the war that will define the age of Samrat Indravarma, the Grand Patriarch of the Bengal Empire. We've united the region, and now we're going to strike back at the enemy, Tamir the Great, uh, who is, is, is quite a match against us. The thing is, he doesn't actually have that much money, and he has a lot of... He might have a lot of troops, but he'll be fighting here, and the AI might actually spread out. So as long as we don't... As long as I'm really careful, I buy mercenaries, and I can concentrate my forces um, the way Napoleon did, I'll win. Wait, what? Why is this society... I didn't know the society was, like... Not okay. Apparently, one of the followers was burnt at the stake. I think this is the battle. 
35,000 versus 27,000. I better destroy them. And also, I must remember not to get cocky after I win this. Oh, there we go. Maharashtra has been, uh, was conquered. But that was expected. Uh, we'll be liberating this area, though. And hopefully we've weakened them so much that eventually it'll just implode. In fact, is this... Ah, it's Ignatic Primogeniture. I was gonna say, is it Gavelkind? 52% war score from one battle. That is pretty insane. Look, I know I've raised levies for a long time, but ugh, minus 122 opinion from raised levies. Are you sure about that? Oh hey, I've won just by occupying a little and totally destroying your armies. Let's see what happens here. Boom! That's an implosion, so there's a new ruler here in the region that's gonna stabilize, and then all of this has been uh, collapsed. I imagine that's because they didn't actually... He hadn't actually been able to usurp the, the kingdom, and so all of that was lost, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. No one in the region seems to want to be my vassal, which is very unfortunate, because they think I'm a foreign culture. Like, even my own family doesn't want to join, and I've bribed a lot of them. Ah, but look at what we can do now. We can force vassalization of Maharashtra, and then by having that kingdom, uh, we'll probably be able to press claims on everyone here. Hmm. My daughter and my half-brother should marry. Yeah, why not? You surrender. Well, that's great. And now we're gonna clean this region up. Looks like most people don't actually accept vassalization, so we're gonna have to force it upon them. Oh, I'm no longer ambitious, because obviously I'm the best person ever, going from like an empire about this size, or not even an empire, a kingdom about this size, to this massive thing here. My grandson, Emperor of Tibet, died. Ah, oh, from severe injuries at age 17. Poor, poor man. Uh, now someone's trying to marry my daughter. And of course, I'm gonna say no to that. My nephew and my granddaughter. Yes, we must, uh, Keep the titles in the family. Ooh, right. With the level of taint in the society, I can actually convert counties by just spending um, devotion. Oh, hey, what's that? I can create the Deccan Empire? Ah, glorious. Just glorious. One thing that bothers me, though, with uh, playing Hindu, I think it has to do with playing Hindu, is that it seems like the title uh, shields are kind of random, like, that's pretty ugly. The Deccan Empire one isn't that bad, but like this, oh, just horrible. But then if you play as Buddhist, you get to actually keep the, or I'm not sure about this, but it looks like you actually get interesting, um, titles there. Also, I don't understand why Tibet gets to keep, use our dynasty shield as theirs and call themselves the Kalinga Ganja Empire, whilst we, who are much more powerful than them, uh, do not. This is gonna seem really odd, but I'm gonna take an intermission right here, because as it turns out, I don't record these episodes uh, all in one sitting, uh, always, and I do have quite a large buffer, so by the time you're watching this episode, uh, it will have been a while, but I have some news. Basically, Crusader Kings 3 uh, has been announced at PDXCon. I have uh, been sitting at home, I saw the announcement, and I'll be honest, I can't say that I knew new, but uh, I did actually I go for a playtest uh, about three years ago, I believe it was, and uh, play around with some stuff. I can't ever say what actually happened during the playtest and what I really did, but I will say that it was this this uh, announcement wasn't really as much as a surprise for me as it was for many other people. 
that said, on a preliminary note, I'm actually very excited and I'm looking forward to seeing more news and uh, details on how Crusader Kings 3 is going to be, and I'm definitely going to be playing that, so if you're curious and excited about that, do uh, keep in touch with my channel because I will be doing that very much. I mean, Crusader Kings 2 is basically my favorite game. And even though I believe that, you know, Crusader Kings 2 has never been as good as it is now, it is uh, quite an old game uh, for many people at this stage. But enough about Crusader Kings 3, let's uh, play Crusader Kings 2 whilst that's the only thing we have that we can do. I'd love to take Indra Varma here and, uh, you know, if, he, if we can in the next... 10 to 20 years, if he can actually live that long and conquer the uh, Rajasthan Empire so that we can actually become the, uh, what's it called, Samrat Chakravartin in his lifetime, it would be amazing. I mean, he's already founded two empires. He definitely deserves the title of the Grand Patriarch. Oh, by the way, uh, with the announcements of uh, Crusader Kings 3, there's also a new patch. Uh, so we're no longer running 3.2, but we're running 3.3 .3 here, and uh, I don't know if the Iron Man is going to keep stable or something, but we'll see. Hopefully everything plays out as it should. Right, also, what I just realized is that uh, this kingdom that we liberated here is actually a suzerain to us. Uh, so they're giving us money, which I can't say no to, but... I'd like their land. Since we can't fight a tributary or release them right now, let's fight... Uh, wait, Ajmer. Ah, I'd be fighting you for that duchy. Then I might as well fight you... for everything, right? Oh no, right. We're in the truce. Well, whatever. Let's declare this war. Subjugation. Uh, 500 karma, sounds good. Oh, hey, the current, uh, or the daughter of the Emperor of China is actually my court tutor, and I just converted her to Hindu. I just didn't know she was the daughter of the Emperor. Ah, oh, my wife died of smallpox. Actually, my son's former wife died of smallpox recently as well. So we're, uh, we're on the same boat. I just married another genius, just so we can get that extra state uh, power there. Oh no, I've got cancer, and also this war has been going on forever now. Uh, mostly because we had to fight this man here, which we've fought before, as, as you know. He has a bunch of event spawn troops. He's the one we, we... We split up his empire, basically, and exiled him to one little kingdom here, but he's been a pain, nonetheless. Alright, finally, that's over, and we can annex that and put our troops down because our vassals do not like us for marching around with their soldiers. Ah, I thought this was gonna happen. I will not be blackmailed, gentlemen. And there we go. I'm dead in the middle of a civil war from cancer. How s what a sad story, right? I mean, it's not really from rags to riches to rags, but it's still like we took our kingdom, which was pretty substantial, formed the Bengal Empire, then, you know, stormed through the rest of the continent, took the Deccan Empire, formed that empire as well, uh, became known as the Grand Patriarch of uh, our dynasty. And um, then as we fought a long war for a small duchy against our former enemy, um, Indravarma uh, got cancer, and the many people who had uh, benefited from the conquests throughout the years suddenly saw their opportunity to strike, and uh, now Indravarma's son, who also has cancer, my god, uh, and is slow, we'll have to deal with this civil war. 
Ah, uh, look at that attrition. I know we're at minus 61% here, but yeah, I'm hoping the attrition will help us out here. Oh, and Tibet comes to the rescue. Thank the Lord. Oh, hey, I finally got a son here. He'll be called Indra Varma. Hopefully he survives. Aw, oh, age 49, I died of cancer. So, what timing? What timing? Our father dies of cancer. We rule for a couple of years. Uh, how many? How long did we actually rule here? Yeah, we ruled for uh, about two years. And then we passed away in the middle of the Civil War as we had turned around um, the campaign. And now our recently, very recently born son rules the kingdom with uh, a family member as regent. So be it. Ah, we've looted a silk shroud. And Liao artwork. Uh, that's cool. I think we've also, have we looted more? No. Ah, they're attacking, let's march. All right, we've won a decisive battle here and that will end the war that began against my grandfather. Ah, fantastic. Kalapendra Kalinga Ganga is the true ruler of Bengal, as recognized by myself and other nobles. Relinquish the title or there will be war. Ah, well, well, well. And the thing is, I can't even get an alliance with Tibet right now because they have political concerns. Um, and these guys have 200% strength, but you know what? I'm not going to be blackmailed. Yeah, the thing is, they're counting, I think, from these seven. And I can definitely hire a lot, lot more units, so... They're gonna be screwed, I think. A uh, white piece. No, you fool. I lost a battle. What? Ugh. I always get. It's always when I get cocky and just charge in and forget about shit. I guess it was jungle and river crossing. But I don't understand. Oh well. Our troops will uh, recover faster than theirs. So, we shall win. Casus Belly no longer valid. Oh, did he die? The claimant? Ah, oh, how much... Oh, I love Crusader Kings, but I also c can hate it when it does this stuff sometimes. Alright, I think we'll wrap it up here. We've played for uh, quite a while now. Almost 30 years, or 40 years, I believe. And, uh... Yeah, uh, our Indravamar the third here is almost reaching a majority and ready to take on new challenges. I think, obviously, he's going to continue his grandfather's dreams of uh, subjugating uh, Rajasthan. His father was kind of a slow person, so maybe you know he didn't really understand what to do, and uh, so he doesn't really look up to his father. He looks up, of course, to his grandfather, Indravamar the first. But anyway, I hope you join me in the next episode to see that development and uh, follow along for more by subscribing, leaving comments down below to let me know what you think I should do, suggestions, etc. And uh, I'll see you later. This has been Game Gapster. Farewell.